All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to the Direwolf 21.16. Let's play with your buddy Super Turtle here. Guys, last episode, went ahead and set up the Applied Energistics 2 system here. And as you can see, we got quite a bit of a facelift. There was an update yesterday to uh, Applied Energistics, just all the textures, and I honestly really like it. Though it is going to be a little bit of a uh, an adjustment because look how big this processor is. It almost takes up the full inventory square here. Which, uh, for the past, I think, several years, Applied Energistics 2 has looked the same, so that's going to take a while to get used to. Uh, but anyways, guys, as you can see from the title of the video today, we're going to be getting into a builder from RF Tools. I'm super duper excited about this. So let's see about what we need here. So first off, we're going to need to go ahead and make a machine frame for the builder. Oh boy, hit the wrong button. This is going to be fun. Alright, so we got two lapis made up there. Alright, we got our machine frame, and what you guys... All right, guys, so in order to go ahead and make up the um, the builder here, we're going to need some bricks. Uh, so I need to go ahead and kind of find uh, some clay kind of scatter around here. Now, ocean, that one isn't going to be good for finding clay. So I'm going to go locate some clay here. We're going to get a bunch of it, and then we're going to come back and smelt it up and make some bricks for the builder. All right, so with all of the bricks made up here, we can go ahead. Oh, yeah, we don't need that anymore. We can go ahead, go here, go four bricks, booyah. Builder is ours. Perfect. All right. So we can take that off the list. Now, the next thing, we're going to go ahead and skip this guy for now, the dimensional cell, and go straight to the shape card here. Uh, this is extremely importante. We need, oh, man, we need quite a few more of these guys. Okay, so, yeah, let's get those smelted up. All right, we got enough bricks for those dudes. So let's go ahead and make two of those. Then we're going to go ahead and make one of these. Then we're going to go ahead and make one of these. All right. Missed it. All right. Oh, wow. I have forgotten. That's what we needed that for. And ta-da. We have a tomato. Perfect. So that can be taken off. This is a quarry. Uh, the reason you see this little dirt, little dirt-looking thing up here in the top corner is because instead of just clearing out the block it mines, it's going to replace it with dirt. So that is very importante. And then we're also going to need to make a dimensional cell. Oops. Let's see. Do we have enough? We do have enough. Perfect. All right. Oh. More of you. Perfect. All right, machine frame, and then we shouldn't have any problems making the... Oh, we need to make two of these, actually. I just remembered. Perfect. How much lapis do we actually have? We ain't got much. All right, and then the second one here. Perfect. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and make this bad boy up. We're going to need some obsidian, so we need to kind of go down to the mine with a bucket. All right, so we got all of the the chests and stuff that we need. Perfect. Uh, we're not going to make those private channels, but we are going to see about dyeing them a different color. All right, so we're just going yeah, we're going to do triple white for the main input of our system here. So the inner chest can go away. The Emmy import bus. Um, yeah, we have enough to make. Perfect. All right, so let's get some cable here. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and set up the input for our storage here. Just be like this, and then we're going to put the ME import bus. What this will do is take items out of here and throw it directly into our system. So, yep, that is online. So anything we put in here, as you can see, gets put into our system. Perfect. It's exactly what we want. All right, so next step, final step before we get this bad boy set up in the mining portal is the reactor. Now we're just going to go ahead and work with the basic reactor here. So this is from Power. It uh, uses these uranite, um, I guess, uranites to generate power. And so we're going to be taking kind of advantage of that today. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. We need a total of, I think, 36 of these. Okay, so we are out of that stuff. We we're very. Oh wait, yeah, we. Oh no, I've smelted up all my clay. Oh, that was a mistake. All right, so let's go ahead and get some of this uh, created. Uh, if you guys are like, I guess, wondering, 
the same mod that gave us the furnator here is the the power mod. So that is what makes the the reactor here. So we need some of these guys. Um, two, three, four. Um, we make four each, so I'm going to make eight of everything. All right, we need to make some more of these guys. Yeah, full stack isn't a bad idea. All right, and so all that's left is to go ahead and start smelting this stuff down. Uh, well, the bigger, like, the different, I guess, they, these come in three different sizes. Um, the bigger the, the, the clump is, the more it gives us. So, like, for instance, this one should give us, I believe it's four per one of these. Yeah. Um, so that's going to be a lot. Uh, this one, this one gives us two, right? Yep, and then this one gives us one for one. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead here, let these guys smelt up, and then we'll be back in a little bit. All right, so we should have enough here to go ahead and make up the items here. As you can see, um, of the 14, we got, a, we got a heck ton. And the cool thing is these should be in the mining world, so we should be able to literally mine power for this and set up a system to automatically deliver it to our system over there. Um, yep, so we needed about that much. Perfect. Uh, and I've been wondering what we're going to be putting over here, and I do believe we're going to be putting this guy. Let's go ahead, kind of, kind of break this wall back a little bit. All right, and then if we go here like this, okay, so it looks like it needs to be a little bit taller for our boy. Can we actually go up? No, we have to go down. All right, should have enough area now. Oh, I need four. Oh, we need 36. Okay. What are we missing? Oh, we're missing the middle guy. All right. There we go. We got another four crafted up here. Perfect. All right. So you need a total of 36 of each of these guys. And then it will automatically start to build itself. Bam. Look at that. Very cool. So this thing needs redstone. I believe we have some dry ice in here for it. Yep, we sure do. Perfect. Dry ice is from power, and this helps cool the reactor. We will be able to mine up some of this, and we're also... I don't know if we need redstone or just... Uh, if we can use redstone blocks, we're going to start with redstone. And then we also need the uranite. Like that. I'll grab some more here. All right, let's see. So your knight goes in, our redstone goes in, and dry ice. And so we are generating 5,000. Okay, so it's going down a little bit, but it is heating up. Okay, so right here should be the power tap. So we're going to go ahead and put our dimensional cell block. Oh, we also need the linking guys between those. I forgot. Very important thing you need. Oops, not there. All right. So we need two of these guys here. Uh, these are super cheap to make, uh, but these will go ahead and link the two power cells together. Perfect. All right. So all we do here is go to this power cell, put that in here, and then we link this one up. Yep, so you see link one, link one here. Um, there we go, in. As you can see, it's really piling up power here. Very, very cool. Super duper excited. Now you can't put, what is this for? Carbon. Ooh, that's right. We need to put some coal in here. All right. So it's running out of like room for power. Uh, so what we're going to go ahead and do is head over. We're going to sleep real quick. Uh, 
And then we're going to go ahead over to the mining dimension. Perfect. We are here. Okay, so we're going to set up this builder boy over here. We are... Oh, no one to put that in there yet. Go like this. Box, hollow, solid. We want... Can we do five? Okay, so we can... Okay, whoops. Trying to hit tab. I'm not that cool, sorry. Uh, we're going to max this thing out. Okay, so we're going to be mining... Ooh, we could void... Cobble, dirt. Ooh... All right, so we're mining a lot of blocks. Perfect. And then <laughs> I'm really nervous, actually, to see. Because um, you can see where it's in. Preview mode. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a little bit of distance. We need to kind of run out over to it. Okay, so 256. Isn't that build height? That's pretty much, I, pro I think that's where it's at. So that means it's going to mine everything. We need to kind of push it down a little bit, but we should be okay. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it here at this height. So it's very important that we undo the rendering of that and then load everything up. Ooh, boy. All right, so the reason we had to go ahead and run around and make sure all of it went away is because if we, say, move something or um, if we change this, it will permanently stay there and we have to break all those by hand. So I really didn't feel like doing that. All right, so as you can see, we got some power. But we need to go ahead and chunk load this. So let's see here, claim chunks. All right, and then shift clicking, you you load it like that. Okay, so this has got power. Perfect. Um, we're gonna put this guy on top here, and it's going. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa! Why is dirt in here? We need to void those. Okay, I think the issue is we have we don't have it chunk loaded in the oval world here. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, so those are all chunk loaded. Now let's test it out again. Hey, it's working. And cobblestone's in there now. Why are you in there, cobblestone? You're supposed to be voided. All right, so we're getting some coal. Very cool. That's generating power. We need to go ahead and head on back home. All right, so we're watching here. Yep, it is working. Perfect. So that means we are are generating all the stuff and things. Okay, so now what we need to do is to automate um, the, the putting in the items for the reactor. We need to go ahead and set up an exporter from... Not extra storage. Emmy export bus from Applied Energistics. This guy. Yep. I knew we'd have almost everything for it. Perfect. All right. Ooh, look at that. It's mining up marble, too, from Astral Sorcery. That's going to be amazing to have, because then we can start building our super cool base that we might build on a live stream. Yeah. Hit that like button down below if you want me to build the base in a live stream. I think it'd be pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, we got... Not the marble. We want the coal. 
We want the redstone. We want this guy. We want dry ice. All to be exported. Okay, so now we need to make quite a bit of cable for it. Um, but a bad idea wouldn't be to make a charger. Oh, wait a second. Okay, so we are getting Certus Quartz from that. Very, very cool. We definitely need Certus Quartz. Um, so let's go ahead and make up a charger from Applied Energistics. Yep. Then we're going to connect this guy to power. If we do this, does it get power? Let's see. No, it do not. If we do one of these, do it get power? No, it do not. Um, all right. Oh, wait. If we just do this. Yeah, it gets power. Very cool. Okay, so now we got some charged surge quartz. We're going to grab some redstone and some quartz. We are going to set up a builder in the nether to mine us up some netherite and stuff like that, but we're not going to do that just yet. We also need to turn off our magnet. There you go, buddy. Perfect. Got some more flux crystals. It is really weird seeing the flux crystals with this texture. It is real weird. All right, so I went ahead and made up some glass here. We're going to go ahead and make a bunch of these Cerdus Quartz. All right, check that out. 59 of these guys. So all we need to do is now run a cable all the way over here. And I think we're going to run it in this little uh, path thing that we got going on. Yeah, so we're going to run it right through here. All right, let's get this MEX Porter on uh, probably the side. I don't know if we have to put it here, but we're going to put it here. Let me know. Oh, boy. Wait a second. We prepared for this. All right, so export bus right there. Oh, no. All right, we need to put an expansion card on this guy. Dang. Yep, but as you can see, it is filling up with uranite, so it's taking it out of our system and throwing it right in, which is what we need. Now, the cool thing is we can go ahead and seal this back up uh, because the issue we're having is not one uh, that is related to the cable. So we can go ahead and patch that hole. Perfect. Oh no, Skystone has changed. I didn't realize that. It doesn't look as good. Oh no. It's become my least favorite block now. Like I don't like it anymore. I'm kind of sad. It doesn't actually look that bad. But it's just you can't really... There's a little bit of green, a little bit of blue. It just uh, It's not as shiny anymore. I am sad. Alright, so let's see about making a capacity card. Because we only need one. What does it take to make a capacity card from Applied Energistics? All right, so here we go. Capacity card takes one of these. Okay. So we do have one of, oh, one of these guys. We should be able to make it. Yep, no issue making it whatsoever. All right, let's throw this bad boy back in. Let's make up some of these basic cards, and then we're going to go ahead and make up a capacity card. Perfect. All right, so we come over here, and then we throw this capacity card. As you can see, we can add in redstone, dry ice, and now coal. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and throw a torch back here just to keep anything from spawning. 
And now this thing will get, as long as it's in our ME system, it will get refilled. Perfect. All right, how are we looking on ores? Ooh, look at that. Over half a stack of iron, four gold, bunch of silver, copper, osmium. Uh, we got nickel, bauxite, lead. Look, guys, we don't even have to mine this stuff. Oh, look at that. It's coming right in. Oh, look at all that osmium. Oh, and uranium, too, from mechanism. Oh, man. Oh, man. So neat. So neat. We don't even need to touch it. All right, guys. So a few episodes back, while I was looking for that... Uh, while I was looking for the basalt, uh, I found some dimensional shards down here, which we desperately need right now if we want to go ahead and make up a fortune quarry which we're going to be making uh, so let's make our way down here all right oops fall down all right perfect cool and we got quite a bit of it too all right, how much we got? We got 50. All right, perfect. So let's see about using our waystone. <gasps> we can go to the overworld. Very cool. We're going to be using waystones a lot just because we have a lot of levels. Yeah, we're definitely going to be using that to get around now. Oh, that's amazing. I'm going to put one right in the middle of a nether fortress. Okay, so now that we have that, if we look over at the fortune quarry, uh, if we look here, all it takes is everything we need plus the middle guy. So we, I already, I actually didn't kill a ghast. I killed enough creepers off camera. And we got the, uh, I'll show you the, oh wait. Not here. So I didn't, I didn't actually kill a ghast. If you kill creepers, you get these things here, this catalyzing gland and... If you look at the uses on this, three of them equal a gas tier. So I've been killing creepers kind of left and right and been stealing their goods. So we're going to go ahead and stop this guy. Steal him back. Put this guy in here. Bam. He's now a fortune quarry. We're going to go ahead put him back. It kept out all... Ooh. Ooh, a little bit of lag scared me. All right, and then we put this here. And every time it mines, it now fortunes whatever it mines. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you mining? Yeah, look at all that coal it mined really fast. All right, yeah, so that's been fortuning up everything. We can come back here. And we're just going to kind of let this go for a little bit. Um, yeah, as you can see, we're getting the, the ores from the farm. Uh, so what we need to do is in the next few episodes, set up a processing system for the uranite to be pumped directly into the farm or into the, the reactor here. Sorry, not the farm. So basically, we just set up an exporter on a... On a uh, on a furnace, like an electric furnace, set of power and an extractor, and then we just basically have that pump directly into the the reactor here, so that way it never runs out of power, and it's kind of like feeding on itself, which is exactly what we want. And that's something we might have to do a little bit sooner than later. All right, guys, so we're actually going to go ahead and tackle that in this episode here real quick. Uh, we are going to go ahead and make up a basic smelting factory. Oh, shoot. Are we out of those? Yes. So, let's grab some osmium. All right. We're going to make one that, that's like a, a the second tier version so that we can go ahead and have more than one item being uh, kind of smelted up. Yeah, look at that. We've already processed through all of our uranite. Holy heck. Wow. Okay. This thing is rather hungry. All right, we got our two 
uh, control circuits. Here we go. All right, so this now, if we look, has three different options here. We're going to have sorting off. Um, yeah. So we also need to kind of smash up some uh, osmium as well. I'll show you why. Oh, we need to put it in the crusher. My bad. Okay, so where are we going to put this guy? Well, I'm thinking a good idea would be probably somewhere close to here. Uh, we could probably just put another exporter there. Um, yeah, that's going to be generating for a while. All right, so let's make this super duper easy on ourselves. So power comes from below it. We import items or put items in from the top. Oh, wow. Um, then we extract items out the side. Just like so. All right, now we're going to need to make one more capacity card. Just like so. We'll put this guy in here. And then we will put this guy, this guy, and this guy in here. I did that backwards. The export bus. All right, so the export bus has all of these guys. Uh, we need to swap out. Yep, there we go. As you can see, boom, these guys are getting smelted up. Perfect. All right. And so as soon as that comes into the system, it gets thrown into here. We don't have to touch it. Uh, now, we did go ahead and smash up some of that osmium. We are going to need to smash up some gold as well. Gold is down here. All right. All right, let's look into some upgrades. Um, yeah, some speed upgrades here. Put these bad boys in. We're going to do one speed upgrade, and then we're going to do... Can we do two? Oh, no, we can just do one energy upgrade. Okay. So energy upgrade goes in, so it goes from... Well already got it so it was using 29 yeah it's not using 80 fe per tick yep we definitely need some more energy upgrades here all right so now it's only using 44 fe per tick just slow down we can go ahead and upgrade that even further once this is done yep get another one all right so now we're using even less so this is going to start generating power perfect All right, so I just need one more piston here. Perfect. All right, and then we're going to do the blaze blocks. Going to just break that for now. Oops. Put you here. Put that there. Yep, so now that will automatically refill the uh, the furnator here with power, or with the, the blaze blocks. Yep, and as you can see, our quarry just mined up some of the uranite with fortune, as you can see. Uh, so yeah, now we can just kind of go AFK here. Uh, it does have a power backlog, as you can see. Um, so it should continue to keep up with this, but again, all of these are now kind of automated because our, our quarry is kind of mining these up. So I'm uh, going to go AFK here for a while and see how much of this we can go ahead and get. Also, we have 
uh, 500,000 RF stored up over here. Uh, unfortunately, we only have this limit of the power generation, uh, but if we look at the power cells, um, yeah, sorry, if we look at the, the dim dimensional cells, uh, we have the, the simple one that we're using right now. This only allows us to do uh, 1,250 RF per tick. Uh, the d dimensional one, this one is by far much better, but we do need prismarine for it. So, yeah, that's going to be a little tough. Unless we do this. Uh, might get into nature's aura, uh, but other than that... All right, guys, so one thing I forgot to mention about this uh, reactor from Powa. Um, one thing is very important when you set this up. This here, just run up to this thing, click it with a bucket of water to put this water in. It will it'll save you so much uranite, it's not even funny. I burned through like three stacks of this, and I'm like, how is this possible? I remember this not burning through this at all. It's just a basic one. Yeah, I forgot this, this water over here for the coolant. Yes, make sure that you guys are using that. Look, we're using, like, it goes down like every two or three seconds. So we are, yeah, just make sure you guys are, you put that water in there. I forgot to do it. Uh, and it costed me quite a bit of the year and night, but uh, we are at the end of the episode, guys. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. This is the first episode of the new year. Holy crap. Hope you guys all had a, uh, have a great 2021. I was going to say, I hope you had a great 2020, but that was, it was kind of a rough year. But anyways, guys, hope you all enjoyed the video. Hope you have a great new year. I'll see you on the next episode. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.